Okay, I'll start okay. the recording and okay. Okay. Daniel, I muted so, you because uh, it's still very loud where you are. Oh gotcha. Okay. Georg, do you have the um I sent the agenda out. Yes. Um But I, I'm not sure that I really put it in the um, the Google Doc that we're looking at. Okay, I'll find it. Awesome, thank you. Excellent. So, um, so welcome everybody to um, the Chaos PNI Work Group meeting on January 14th. Um, We've got um, me, Nicole, um, Georg, Danielle, Sarah, and uh, there were a couple of things that we wanted to work through. Um, oh, awesome! Thanks, you. Thanks, Georg. Um, I sent out an agenda with the meeting reminder. Um, we don't have Don Foster on for today. And I'm not sure whether or not we'll have Emma. Um, we wanted to revisit and update the goals for 2019 to review uh, the open poll requests, uh, review and um, work on uh, open action items, and then review the roadmap of events. And I didn't put this in the agenda, but uh, work through any prep for the events. Uh, <clears throat> where did people want to start um, uh, for this meeting? I I can um, I can start with some of the events. Um, uh, but is there a is there uh, an agenda topic um, that I just work through or walk walk through? Um, that folks have a passion for, or are there any open agenda topics that I did not uh, list? My comment that I sent you in the email was um, that maybe we can, after we work through the issues we can work on today, maybe work on uh, metrics because we haven't worked on metrics in a while. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, York. Okay. And I think, um, if I remember correctly, we were going to hold the goals for 2019 um, until next meeting. Was that correct? Yes, because Emma and Don cannot make it today. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. So I. Uh, one more. I have one more. Oh, yeah. Um, I sent out an email that the governing board is revising the chaos charter, and we have uh, the option to add in our ethics clause that we were talking about as one of our goals for this year. Okay. To, to add ethics as one of the goals? Well, we have a goal in our goals document that we want to add ethics to the charter. And now we have a window where we can do this because oh, the board okay. is gonna vote on updating the charter anyway. Great, okay. Perfect. It would have to be written, this ethics, the, the ethics charter or the ethics, ethics commentary that we'd wanna to add to the charter, I take it? Yes, we'll have to formulate and write it out so that we can create a pull request. Yep. Great. Okay. 
great. Okay, got it. <coughs> um, so I, uh, to, I think we can cover the events piece um, pretty quickly. Uh, I um, wrote the abstract for a session at uh, the Open Source Leadership Summit in March um, in Hathaway Bay. And uh, I sent that out last week for folks to, to the, um, to the uh, Chaos DNI mailing list. Um, for folks to comment on. I will be submitting that today. And right back. Nicole, I don't know if I've been added to the mailing list or does anyone know if I have been officially? And it could be I, I missed it when I was out for vacation and surgery with my son. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if I said that. Yeah, that I don't know. Um, I cannot look it up either. Um, here I posted the link in the minutes, so you can add yourself, Sarah. Got it, okay. Nicole, do you mind just shooting it to me and I'll see, I'll check to see if I actually might have received it in my email. If not, I'll join the, officially join the mailing list. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, Thank you. Nicole, I'm, I'm keeping notes also at the bottom. Oh, perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to yeah. stop keeping notes there. Okay. Okay. Be great. Okay. I, I just wanted to so, make sure you're, you know, that you're free to facilitate the meeting and I'll be taking care of the notes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I will, um, Sarah, I will shoot that over to you. Um, and then once I get your comments on that, I will go ahead and submit that for um, OSLS. Um, the other thing that we're uh, prepping for um, is the um, chaos con. The, it's the end of February, correct, Georg? We're on the organizing committee for that. Um, it's in two weeks. Oh my God. Oh. Gosh, okay. Um, wow, so that's quick. So, Georg, you want to give us an update on ChaosCon? Uh, well, ChaosCon is planned. We have the schedule finalized, and uh, what we right now need is a description of what the diversity and inclusion tutorial meeting is going to be, so I can put it on our schedule. Okay. And is there a way to participate in that remotely? Will there be dial-in or, or is that not an option? It is not planned to have dial-in. Okay. So. And I haven't participated in a one of the tutorials. I know that Danielle and Dawn to the tutorial. Danielle, maybe you can speak to to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed. I, I uh, Don and me, we still have to discuss together about the tutorial, but this is going to be quite close to the tutorial we delivered in at the Open Source Summit in Edinburgh, where Georg and Emma was, were participating as well. By the way, the, the sound is now better? Yes, thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, so, yeah, basically the description, we, we still have to go through the description. I, in the time, I'm going to send an email right now to Tom, so we can meet. Yeah, how about you just submit the same description we had for the Edinburgh session? Yeah, that makes sense to me, but uh, as Tom Foster is not here, I don't know. I mean, but uh, this is going to take like a day. Or okay. We are in, the, in a similar time zone, so shouldn't be any soon. Perfect. Thank you for the reminder, by the way. Okay, 
awesome. We're excited about the keynotes that we were able to get for ChaosCon. It looks like it's going to be fantastic. <coughs> Okay, so with that, um, Georg, do you want to take us through, um, do you want to go through some of the open pull requests? Take us but, through that. No, Nicole, I have a comment before. Um, oh, it's, sure. it's, it's related to the, to the events. Uh, um, basically, we've been working today, I am Peter, yeah, about the uh, OSCON deadline, which happens that it's taking place tomorrow. So uh, I don't know if we as a group are planning to send something there. It's, it's taking place in Portland mid-July. Mm, if we're planning on going to that. Um, and that takes place, OSCON takes place coincident with um, the Community Leadership Summit, correct? Yeah. It's, it's, so the, the CLS is usually takes place the weekend before uh, OSCON. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you planning on being in Portland, then? Uh. We are going, I don't know if I go personally, but I'm planning to go either to um, to OSCON or to the Open Source Summit in North America this time, so one of both. Uh, but I'm happy if okay. you want, we can send something together to OSCON because it's pretty close to where you are. Um, gotcha, okay. Yeah. yeah, I will not be going, so I would only submit something if we know one of us is going. Right. Um, gosh, it's tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we can certainly, I'm thinking, you know, we can leverage, um, gosh, I don't know. I, you know, why don't I? Are you, are you looking there? for actual speakers to submit, Nicole, or just someone to also have a presence there and there would be a meeting or both? It, yeah, well, Danielle, was your question, should we submit to OSCON? So uh, the question is, I'm submitting to OSCON. So right. I don't know if we as a group, we are interested in submitting something else as uh, the diversity inclusion working group that I would say. So there is a specific track related to sustainability of open source yep, communities. Um, yeah, exactly. And diversity is one of the key factors, I would say. So we I have think something. So, yeah. Oh, please go ahead. I think it'd be great to submit, and we can always, you know, decide who is, you know, the actual, is it one speaker, is it joint, you know, co-speakers and who that would be, but I think it'd be great to submit. Hmm. Maybe we can submit the same thing we are submitting for the Open Source Leadership Summit. I don't remember the, but the oh. abstract, but that's an idea. And Nicole, I'm, I'd be happy to work with you on the next, you know, I know that one's really tight, but we can hopefully use some of the OSLS and go from there. But we'd yeah, have to, okay. we'll have to get it um, reviewed, you know, sort of shared out by email, I guess, because of the tight, quick turn um, mm -hmm. and just on the mailing list to right. get some of that. Right, yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds great. Yeah, I really like that. Are there, <coughs> me, um, are there any other? Yeah, I'm not sure if I will uh, be there. I'll just be out. Yeah, but just can you, there could no. Uh, upcoming uh, events that we want to talked about any other upcoming CFPs. 
I have a list that we have just of some key events for 2019. I can look at it um, and see if there are any that would make sense for this. Okay. Oh, that'd be great, Sarah. Yeah, let me see if I can find that really quick. Yeah. I'll look at it. Two, I, I, yeah. Oh, cool. I know the two that we've been tracking have been the Open Source Summit that closes um, January 23rd, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and the Open Stack Summit that closed, or no. No, it isn't the Open Source Summit. It's KubeCon. It's KubeCon Cloud, uh, Cloud Native Con that closes January 20. There's one that closes January 23rd and one that closes January 18th. And I, I can't remember which is which, but but um, nevertheless, they're they're both coming up very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and one is KubeCon Cloud Native Con, and the other one is OpenStack Summit in Denver. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll find my list, and then maybe we just create a list, you know, combining those, and I'm sure, and we can add in the KubeCons, obviously, as well, in this Denver event. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, perfect. Um, yeah, and then the other one is OpenStack Summit in Denver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, and so if you could um, take, a, take a look at any that you might uh, be thinking of that this would be good for, that'd be great. Okay, that's, that sounds great. Cool. Okay. And then I'm thinking um, with the time that we have remaining of either um, reviewing any open pull requests keyword or uh, working on one of the metrics, um, what's your thought on that? Uh, and You've always been really good at taking us through either one of those. Uh, the pull request, nothing happened since last week. Uh, we can skip that today. Okay. Uh, cool. If we could work on uh, metric today, that would be a great win. Perfect. Let's go there then. So there, there are two ways that I imagine we could do this. Uh, one is where we divide and conquer, and we have 40 minutes left, so we can do something like a 20-minute working session where each of us chooses one metric and just starts hacking at it, and then we have the remaining 20 minutes to give feedback and review each other's progress, or we pick out one and work on it together. And the metrics to choose from, um, I would refer to our issues list, where we have the develop resource page issues. And I know, Daniel, you had picked out some that you wanted to do. I have one that I want to do. Um, Nicole, I, I know you have been wanting to review the readme. We can just use the time now to get started on that. And then Sarah, you okay. can also choose one of the things you want to work on. Anyway, okay. that, that's one of the proposals that I have. Uh, if you're okay with that, we can do that. Otherwise, we can do something else. I, I like that. Um, I just got vinegar in it. I think and you're right. I just, oh, go ahead. No, that sounds good, I think. Okay. So do we each want to pick one to work on or um, which method we want to use? Which do you folks prefer? Um, well, I have, I have open right here in front of me the uh, 
recognition of good workshop. Are you? Do we have the four of us access to a laptop right now so we can work on uh, on a metric, or do you prefer to work like some discussion and then someone share the screen? Then we keep working together. Any preference? Um, I'm okay with working quietly for. Today. 10, 15 minutes, and then get together and discuss as things come up. Yeah, I like that too. Okay, then let's split the, the matrix. Okay. okay, I will do the contribution type. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do um, as Georg mentioned, the uh, README that I've been wanting to kind of uh, work on and update. And this is the issue that's um, I'm, just, I'm supposed to open the last link that was dropped in chat, correct? The last link that I dropped in the chat leads you to the list of issues that we have. Yeah. And this is uh, where you find several issues that start with develop resource page. Yeah. And those are the metric pages that we are working on. Got it. So when you go down to number 116, has my picture next to it, it's the contributions type. That's the one that I will be working on. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and then inside inside each of the uh, issues, if you open this, you should see a Google Doc with a template. But basically, we keep filling that. Okay, I'm just looking at the different metrics. Yeah. So Daniel, which one are you working on? Um, I go for the mentorship, for instance. Okay. You know what? I'm going to work on the mentorship one. Okay. Then I go for the onboarding. <laughs> so uh, Nicole, in, the, in that case, please reassign the ticket to you, or well, add yourself as a as as a need. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, I would say okay. right now, just start working on it. Don't worry about how it's labeled in GitHub. Yeah. Okay. So Sarah, I know you have not been here when we put this all together. So I, I know that it's new and a little overwhelming maybe. So if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. from yeah, I'm looking at the different um, issues that are open and which one I feel like I'd want to tackle. You know what I mean? So I'm just doing a little reading right now. Sounds good. You guys, if you want to start and then I'm going to, I'm just sort of looking at which one I think I might, I'm, I don't want to hold people up as I'm sort of. Yep, that's OK. I already off. started. Good, good, good. Yeah. That's a good time for you to yep. catch up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And if you have any questions, please do ask. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bathrobe, yeah. Which one are you working on, George? Oh, 
you're, you're mute. Ah, thank you. Yes, I'm working on the contribution type. Got it. Okay. If you want to join me, Sarah, I already have a lot written there because I've already worked on it uh, before. Uh, you can start reviewing it and we can discuss making changes. Okay, let me dive into that. Georg, I have a question. Yes, in, my in, the, in the description of of the files, do we have to, or do we need um, to cite specific research? It's it's the description area. So, or can we talk about why? mentorship programs are important yes we can talk about why mentorship programs are important and why we think it is something to look at as a way to understand the health of a community we do not need a research right now that would be nice to have but not required okay okay thank you
So I see that we are making great progress. Maybe we can do another two or three minutes and then um, start reviewing each other's and talk about it. And I think I get the gist of what's going on here now. <laughs> so I, I feel like I could um, take on one of these, but obviously I'm, I'm, I might have to work on it and then share it afterward and you guys can respond at your own pace. But I was looking at um, the one that I thought might be interesting to look at for me to start off uh, was the technical jargon one. That's great. Yeah. And, and your, your edits were very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Okay, I think we can move on to reviewing each other's. If you're looking for the links, they are in the agenda. Um, and Nicole, if I can ask you to review the contribution type so that we can wrap that up today and create a pull request, that would be great. And then Sarah, yeah. I see that you already moved on to mentorship and mm -hmm. I'll uh, also move on. Okay. Is uh, I imagine contribution types is your first link. Yeah, I can also post the in the chat. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. I'm going there now. Okay, contribution types. <coughs> Okay, so each of these starts with a question. So the question for this one is, do we recognize all, all contribution types in equal proportions? Description. Georg, do you want me to read these or how, how would you like me to go through these? Um, I'm okay. Sure, with, I'm okay if you just go through it, um, read it, and leave comments and make changes. Uh, if you have questions for me, just feel free to ask away. Okay. So read them out loud, you mean, or no? I don't think you need to read it out loud. Okay. Oh, you mean you just wanted me to go through and make sure I had um, put my uh, updates in here? Yeah, updates gotcha. and if there's something not clear or get it ready to publish basically. Gotcha. There aren't. Okay. 
about IRB approval. So I, I, I was asked about the peace proposal um, that For some reason, mine is not tracking. My edits aren't tracking, but... What about tracker? My edits aren't tracking. I don't know quite why, but... Oh, I don't, I don't care if they're tracking or not. Oh, okay. Okay, so don't track it necessarily? Unless I have a question? Yeah, I'm fine if you just edit right away. Okay, got it. So I, I have a question. Uh, let me know what you think. So uh, I'm working in the onboarding uh, in the focus area of the leadership. Um, basically, one of the sample uh, strategies is, well, I, I define some of them like, well, we can look for perhaps mentorship activities or if there are some specific guidelines available or automated way to say hello and welcome to newcomers and so on. But I was thinking if there are other ways of getting that information based on personal experience. And I, I'm not really sure how to uh, state this in the text, but basically, uh, for instance, if you go to the OpenStack Foundation and you want to participate there, you have to sign um, uh, a CLA, and then you have to upload your public SSH key and do some other things. Uh, so there is a process defined, but in some cases, this is easier or a bit more difficult depending on your background and expertise and so on. So uh, how can I uh, state or declare all of this in the, in the text? Any idea? My first thought is to... So, so our goal is to come up with metrics and one mm -hmm. way we could capture a metric that is fuzzy like that is through survey questions or interview questions where we just ask people to rate how difficult was this. Um, that's my first thought. So this would be a more qualitative way of doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having, having interviews makes sense to me. Okay, thank you. Sure, no problem. With mentorships, do we want to make as an explicit goal that there would be like more diversity, like as in contributors, not just that we'd have more new contributors, that we'd have a more diverse pool? Is that fine? I so. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a way, yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> I think it's a way um, to definitely make sure, yes, yes, I, I agree. And, And then that in turn hopefully leads to increased diversity at the you know upper levels where there's more responsibility, i.e. core reviewer or maintainer roles. You know what I mean? Yes. Yep. I think it's almost like every single one, it's all about the number as well as the diversity, if you like think about it, you know what I mean? Right, I agree.
um, wondering now, is there any, uh, is there any specific metric I should review? Of course, I just finished mine for the first version. Congratulations for finishing yours. Can you well, take a look at the contribution? Pre-alpha version of this, but, oh. <laughs> but, I, but I can review others. Can you take a look at contribution type? I would love to get this into a pull request today. Okay. Do we want to say, <laughs> this is a funny one. Um, <clears throat> under description and, and the second bullet down below is um, like lousy this, terrible that, but da -da. And I, I find myself wanting to just say poor this, poor that. Mm -hmm. So what is, what is the question, Nicole? Well, it's interesting. Do we want to, do we want to leave? And was the intent to leave it like that? Here, I'll, I'll undo my change. Feel free to, to refine it and tweak it, I think. You know what I mean? If you think it could be worded better. Yeah. So, like I find myself saying, well, what makes it lousy and what makes it terrible and what, yeah. The, yeah, I, I, I was a little colorful with my language. <laughs> if you just Lots use four. <laughs> yeah, if it's just yeah. four and then a list of things or something that makes right. it easier to read, uh, that's a good idea to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just as background, this um, contribution type information, this all came out of the interviews that I've been doing over in November and December. Oh, okay. So some, some of the language is how people talked about <laughs> contribution types. I see, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, there are five minutes left for the end of the meeting. Should we, as next step, basically submit each of us uh, metric as a pull request? Oh, you're, uh, you're mute, sorry. Thank you. I will turn this into a pull request after the meeting. And then we can have the public review whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess we can do the same for the mentorship and uh, onboarding, I guess. Yeah, yep. I wasn't quite, I, I don't think I'd finished the um, mentorship down below, but I was working through it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I me neither, but that's something. I feel like we made a, a big progress today with these three metrics. and. If we can get one of them as a pull request today, that's great. And then we can work on the onboarding mentorship some more in the work Google Doc until you're, you feel like it's ready. Yeah. Okay. I, I can definitely finish this off. Yeah. So if I work on the jargon one, and then I want to let this group and others, I guess, know that it's ready to, you know, for you guys to review, tweak, re respond, is that something I would just post on the mailing list? Yes, that is the way to do it. Okay, great. Okay, so thank you very much for, for this amazing um, session with editing. Yes. For, we have yeah. one slide on the agenda, Nicole. I'll give it back to you. Oh, okay. Wait, I got to go back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know, switch gears. I, yeah, hold on, wait a minute. Um, okay, where was my agenda? Um, I know that you had pasted it. Oh, here's, here's where you're taking notes, okay. Um, so we reviewed the events, we worked on the metrics. Um, there weren't any uh, pull requests. We're holding the goals for 2019 until next meeting. Um, 
Oh, and is it reviewing the, um, oh, you're right. Okay, thanks, Georg. Um, choosing the facilitator and note taker for the next meeting, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, awesome, I got there, okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, so who would like to be the um, facilitator for the next meeting? Um, I'm happy to be the note taker for the next meeting. I can, I can be the facilitator. Awesome. Okay. And as a facilitator, um, just because it's a little new to me, do I put together the agenda proposal as well? Or is that basic? No. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, um, so uh, you would put together uh, the agenda and just send a reminder um, uh, ahead of the meeting to let, uh, you know, let people know of the meeting next Monday. Um, and I usually, we usually put the link to the meeting um, minutes and notes and all of that in the meeting with the connection details and that sort of thing. I can, you know what I can do, Sarah, is I can send you what I, or you may have this, what I, what I sent out last week. That'd be great. Okay, I will send that to you. Thank you, Sarah. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.